you might have been tempted to multiply these brackets together and there's nothing wrong with that. But did you notice that you would end up with an x to the power of 4? Now remember in the previous video or the previous question, we said that when you end up with x to the power of 4, we've gone too far. There needs to be a better way. And so let's have another look. What we should realize here is that this part is the same. So what we do is we just say let x squared minus 4x equal to k. And so we replace that with k minus 1 minus, and then in brackets, k squared. Now we can just say k minus 1 minus k squared equals to minus 13. And now it's easy. We just solve for k. So I'm going to take everything to the right hand side. And that would eventually give us that. And then this should be able to factorize like that. And then k would be equal to 4 or k would be equal to negative 3. Now that's not the answer, but we're halfway there. So what we now do is we realize that earlier on we said this. So now we can take each of these k answers and just plug them into there. So we can say if k equals to 4, then we can say x squared minus 4x equals 4. You see what I did? I just plugged the k over there. And then we can say x squared minus 4x minus 4 equals to 0. And then you can solve this with the quadratic formula. And so x is going to be 4.83 or x is going to be negative 0 0.83. Okay, so we've got two answers so far. Now we need to do this again, but now we're using our other x answer, which is, I mean our other k answer, which is negative 3. So I'll squeeze that in here. If k equals negative 3, then we start the process again, like that. And then I bring the negative 3 over. I can then factorize this. That's actually going to be negative. And so therefore, x is 1 and x is 3. So look at that, guys. It's pretty cool. We got four answers. 1, 2, 3, and 4.